In the NBA's most clutch players at every position. At the point guard position, they have Chris Paul, which honestly makes a lot of sense. He had a lot of clutch plays this season, even last season in the finals and playoffs, all during that, so I definitely agree with this. Booker shooting guard, it seems like every time, even last year and this year, he's pretty much been making shots when the other team's starting to creep closer, he makes a clutch shot to keep him back, and honestly, I feel like the, he's been improving a lot, and this has probably been one of his best seasons of his career. Small forward, you have Zach Levine, which honestly, in my opinion, is kind of an interesting choice to put him at small forward, but I guess they really need to put someone else on here. In my opinion, I think that's a good option. He's just have to in clutch for the Bulls, and I definitely agree. Embiid at center, which honestly makes the most sense. In my opinion, I definitely think he's a clutch center. It's either him or Jokic on this list. I think I would take Joel Embiid in the clutchness factor, especially at the free throw line. I feel like he really makes big shots at the free throw line. DeMar DeRozan at power forward, which a lot of people in the comments weren't really arguing if DeMar DeRozan deserves to be on here. In my opinion, I think he definitely does. Most of the people were pretty much saying that. Why is he at power forward? Which, in my opinion, I definitely do agree with. Why is he at power forward and not a different position? You might as well just switch this list around. I don't even know why they put him at power forward this season on this list. I don't even know if he's listed as a power forward in the lineup. I think he'd be a one or a two, a point guard or a shooting guard. I don't think he's a power forward. Comment down below your opinion on this, though. James Harden with 26 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists. 123 76ers to 108 Knicks. Honestly, a great game in my opinion. The Sixers were kind of down, it seems like, for the lot of the time. But then in the fourth, they pretty much just went on a run and were up by 10. Honestly, James Harden really showed why he's one of the best players in the NBA and showed why they really won this trade. In my opinion, him and Drill and Beat are really an unstoppable tandem. And it's really just hard to even stop this team. It seems like they just have a lot of teamwork and... This is going to be really hard to stop in the playoffs. In my opinion, they're probably one of the top teams to win the finals this year. Please Trio put in work versus the Knicks. Joel Embiid had 27 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 assists. James Harden had 26 points, 9 rebounds, and 9 assists. Tyrese Maxey had 25 points, 4 of 6 from a 3-point field goal. And honestly, a great performance from Tyrese Maxey. Him and Tobias Harris have definitely improved. In my opinion, if they could be one of the best role players on this team, and they've definitely been showing that they... They can really handle a lot more. And I feel like their scoring-wise have definitely improved, and their defense as well. Comment down below your opinion on this, though.